Hey guys, what's going on? Hope everybody's doing well. So yesterday I went out and picked up a canoe and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the stuff when I get back from the store. Alrighty guys, so this is kind of a big project and I don't really know how best to go about this, but right now I decided to peel off all of this old paint, be able to see everything that has damage and if I need to get enamel or not enamel, I need to get epoxy I can do that or if I less I don't really need to and fantastic but I'm starting off with peeling all the old paint off seeing the actual body of this boat seeing where the stress points are and then being able to determine where this it may fall apart in the future and then try and reinforce what is weak so this is a probably a two week project considering i don't really know what to do and looking into the cost of this it's pretty inexpensive i did buy some sandpaper and a sander so i'm going to be able to sand down this it sounds like plastic but i'm not entirely sure so we'll find out um i also got respirators and once I get started with the sander, I'll have to take Zeus back inside because I do not want him near all that shit flying around. If any of you know what this thing is called, the hole protector, it's got one on each side and it stretches from here to here. Because this is the area that you really hit up against rocks and you can hit shore. I don't know what this is called, I'll have to Google it, but if you guys know, leave it in the comments below. Um, I'll be very, very happy and humble enough to learn what that is actually called right here. What you think about the boat? What you think about it? What you think? Hmm? What you think? Up and over. I gotta try and find a way to flip this. I mean, I'd probably have to carry it outside, to be honest with you. Okay, so I think I got about as much peeled off as I could possibly get. This side is still wanting to stick pretty well, so I may just leave that and paint over it. And if it wants to peel off later while I'm sanding, um, then I'll do that. But I still got to figure out how to get the, the protectors off. That might have to require a knife being taken to them, which I've already done a little bit of knife work to get some of the more stickier spots um, peeled. But I've already started sanding just a little bit right over 
here where the only place the sander can actually reach. So I'm just going to move this around. I'm going to have to put the canoe up on the bookshelf over here um, and then kind of vert it like front to back to try and keep it um, back here. And then I'm going to have to put the mask on obviously. I already took Zeus inside so he's safe. I do not want him out here when I'm sanding. And I've also got the, yeah, I already mentioned the masks, but I'm gonna get this step set up really quick. It's a fun day. I've wanted to do something like this for a while. I um, also own a boat for a while. So I'm glad I've been able to purchase one finally. And I'm happy to be able to work with it. See if I can get my neighbor to help me. What's up, buddy? Hey, are you home? Yeah. Can you come down to my garage real quick? Yeah, what's up? I need help getting my canoe on this bookshelf so I can stand it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I, there's, I can usually yoke it up on my shoulders, but mm -hmm. my fucking ceiling, you know the ceiling in the garage, it's not that high, and it's bitches taller than the ceiling full of rafters. Yeah. Thanks. Alright, yep, yeah. yeah. There's the man, the myth, the legend. YouTube doobie. Oh, you're putting up there. Yeah. I get a copyright on the fucking music. Sit, fucking. I don't know, it's fucking too coarse. Do you want to sit in it with me? Yeah. yeah. What, peeling it? Are you, are you taking it all off? That side, this is not coming off for shit. I peeled all the stuff that was like, it was just fucking flaking. Um, it's called Royal X. I'm gonna have to get something equivalent, but it, for like a gallon or a quart, however they come in like paint cans. It's like 60 bucks, which isn't bad. You need a good few layers to get it that thick. Yeah. And then something else I'll have to do. This is gonna... These are like rock protectors, you probably have these in kayaks too, so when you go ashore you don't have the same hole in the middle of it. Yeah. I'll have to peel that off too, and that's just old. Alright, one, two, and up. It doesn't weigh much either. Probably back heavy, isn't it? Oh, hey. Sits though. Yeah. Where'd you get this? Facebook Marketplace. Oh, really? There's only 200. Damn. For a reason though. He had it and he wanted to do a project on it, but he never got to it. He had said he had had it for a year. But he never got started on it. Alright, I'm about to go take a shit before I head to this motherfucker's shop. What are you getting done? Uh, I'm gonna have to overexpose it just a little bit. Also, my chest is pale, so that's not really helping too much either. But I just went back to my apartment. I put on the shirt because I got a fiberglass irritation on my skin, on my forearm, and maybe kind of get hivy. Not very comfortable. So, put on a long sleeve shirt for protection. I've also got long pants on already, so that's good. But after that little irritant hit my skin, I'm like, nah, definitely not gonna take any, take any risks with this stuff. Um, so I've got these N95 particulate respirators. These are amazing to use. Um, I used to wear these a lot when I was working in the EMS. Fun fact, I'm working on getting my EMT certification back. So I'm thinking about making some sort of video about that. This is the one Aiden was wearing. Smells like it's cologne. Lord. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue sanding all this. I probably need some sort of actual goggles, but the ventilation in here is halfway decent. There's a good breeze coming through, so we're just going to work with what we got right now. I would take this outside, however, I don't have an extension cord long enough to handle that. So this is what we got to work with right now. I am using a Black & Decker um, sander with right now 220 uh, grain uh, sandpaper. So that's what I'm using right now. 
Let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> Uh, a new memory card because I ran out of room on the one on one of them so I ran out of room on this one so I went back to get my 128 gig I should have plenty of room on there considering there's only around 60 megabytes of data on there so um, back you guys up a little bit and I also changed the lens so I have more way to work with when it comes to actually getting the shots so and I also put a GoPro on because POV is always kind of cool Especially with stuff like this. So I'm going to continue on uh, sanding down. That's on there good. This stuff, I'm going to peel that really quick. And as I sand, I may just take my knife and at a very low angle trim any of the excess stuff off of here, off the bottom. Because as you can see, there is some uh, red flakes that didn't quite make it off very well. So I'm gonna continue on sanding. And I'm also taking notes of any trouble areas that I think may need epoxy, like some of uh, these dings here from rocks. There's a couple here. Here you got two here and two here. And then you got some bumps from the top on the top from where rocks may have just skipped across. Um, you got a couple good dings are up top right up here too. Right here, you got some bald spots, there are patchy spots. We got a good gash here, so we may need to epoxy that later this week. And then, got some spots here. Towards the ends, I'm not too worried about pulling these things off, because these are on there pretty good. I just don't know how to mess with this, so I'm gonna have to do some research. And also how to pull the rest of this stuff off. I don't think I hit record on that, so you're guys gonna see all of this through here. On the other side, I haven't really touched it much um, with the sander, but we do have some pretty good bumps here. These are superficial. We'll find out more about it as we sand. And you got a couple stress cracks here, probably just from the UV rays and drying it out. So I'll epoxy, put a light layer of epoxy in here later this week as well. Um, and then, I'll find a way to pull some of this paint off or I'll just paint over it. Um, since it's still on there pretty good, I'm gonna have to worry too much. There's a fresh layer of paint over the, over the hole and stern of this boat will work um, to make everything uniform with the rest. But it's hot, I'm gonna continue working because I wanna get some lunch in me here soon. And it's uh, getting a little late in the day. It's about three o'clock now, so. I'm just going to continue working here.
I can continue on with this project because there's supplies I need to be able to pay for, uh, like the paint, and I think that's really it. This is the paint, and that's about 60 bucks. So it'll be a short day over the next two days, but there's also a pretty good bonus out. Um, I do also want to try and go car camping at some point just to get out. It's been a couple weeks since I've been able to go camping, maybe three weeks now, and it's uh, very much needed. But I'm going to leave the boat like this in my garage tonight, and then it's supposed to rain. I'm going to take you guys out here. But it's supposed, supposed to rain today, so it may be kind of nice just to sit out and hang out outside. And uh, I'm going to do some more research on what kind of paint specifically I can use. Just as well as the best way to go about coating it, because I have no idea. Like I've said many times in this video, this is the first time I've done this. But this is part one um, of probably a three or four part series. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this is a very big endeavor for me. And it's exciting, because after I'm done with this, I will be able to go fishing on a boat go boat canoeing or boat packing I'm gonna call it go backpacking with a boat um, I'm kind of boring like that <laughs> not very original but that's uh, that's it for now and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video see ya